How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games, and we are back with another horror game. It's been a while since we've delved back into the world of the back rooms. If you don't know what the back rooms are, you probably do, but let me explain. It's apparently a world between our worlds. Eerie place of corridors uh, between our realities. And in most of these backroom games, you're usually pursued by some form of monster or entity. And apparently, this one was one of the first backroom games, and there isn't any of that. It uses purely the environment and the psychological aspect to scare you and make you feel uneasy. So I'm definitely, definitely excited to play this one. 1990. What a time. This really does look like VHS, doesn't it? Even the square, like, ratio. Wow. This looks real. You see how in the back rooms, things just don't seem quite right. Everything's slightly off. That's the true, like, for me, that's where the horror aspect comes from with the back rooms. Wow, the sound is amazing. It actually feels... Whoa! The sprinting is just so realistic. What was that? Now, I do know that in this version, there is apparently no entity. There's nothing chasing you. Wait, what is this? Oh. Oh. I can like zoom in and out. Okay. Got this camera on me. Wow, this is just It's just eerie. The whole idea of back rooms is eerie. And I, I really really hope someone makes a really good film on this. So yeah, there's different kind of lights. Hold on, it's here. Wow, I feel like this, this version has captured this whole thing perfectly. Like, I'm, I'm on edge. I'm already on edge. I feel like I shouldn't be here. What's this? Lights? Wow. Alright. It's the wallpaper as well. Like, it's very... It's such an interesting, like, colour. That, you know, they use this, this yellow old person kind of wallpaper it's so unique see that like, the lights are like you wouldn't put a light there in the real world it's, everything's kind of off I do love the whole back rooms conspiracy okay, so we're going to try and find a way out of here now let me go down here so we can find a way forward oh Okay, all right. Wait, I thought there was nothing in here with me. I could hear something. Tell me you heard that. Okay, oh my god. Like kind of a almost like a museum type area. Oh, there's a way down there. What's this? Dictionary. It's like a map. Oh 
well. The sound is amazing. Like, and the running is done so perfectly. Wow. Oh, the carpet. It reminds me of, like, old cinemas. Jesus. Oh, man. It's getting dark. Okay. So we're now in another level. This is so different from the normal horror games that we play. Like, normally we've been scared shitless ten times. Creepy girls in the basement have come to get us. Oh, wow. That's so weird. Okay, let's just look this way quick. Ceilings are lower down here. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. Hell. See how the lights are just off? It doesn't quite line up. Man. I tell you what, it wouldn't actually cost that much to make a decent backrooms film. You just need like a warehouse with loads of like yellow walls and stuff. I feel like I'm in some sort of fun house now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright. I say we check out this way first. Oh. Alright, you see, now I feel like I'm in just some sort of apartment. What is this clock slash timer? Okay, now this looks like a museum. What's in here? It's like a shower cubicle. It's almost like our reality is all like mixed up and glitched up in this, this world. It's, it's a gallery. Okay. I always feel like there's something behind me in these games. Oh, okay. This is like a chunk of like a museum or something. Oh, what's this? Oh, I can't go down there. Okay. So weird. I could go that way, or I. seem to be from around the world, in a way. Okay. This... Oh, God. I, d I didn't know this was an elevator. This is a creepy ass swimming pool. Okay. 
It's almost like it mimics our reality. It's like asking AI to generate like a swimming pool or something and it, it's just not quite right. You know when AI gives you a picture and it's not quite as things off with it. That's the perfect way to describe this. Can I go in? Oh, which way do I go? I go up that way. I think that way goes to the other swimming pool that I just crossed. I think I should go this way. I don't know why, but the yellow is, is the perfect colour. It just makes, for some reason, just makes you feel uneasy. Maybe that's like a psychological thing, I don't know. I've always wondered, like, if alternative realities or whatever is between those exist, would it be a mashup of just random stuff that exists from our world? Like, is this is what it looks like. Don't know who put the chlorine in here. so fast through this water. Like, it's amazing. Like, this is how I feel true horror really is all about. Like, I'm not being pursued by anything. I've had a few creepy noises. But I'm uncomfortable. And that's... It's very hard to do. I'll just come in from there. So I guess it's this way. It's this. Sizes. It's kind of creepy. All these little. It's insane. Can I go down that way, or should I go this way? I'm gonna go this way because I can walk around. Simulation is definitely broken. Ooh. Okay, like what are those? Are they just like grills or grates or something? So bizarre. Oh. Ah, okay. Oh, that's another elevator. I am going the right way then. This is crazy, like, you just feel like this place could exist. It's such an eerie feeling. It is important to note as well that this is uh, this game, The Complex, they've just released a new version, um, an up-to-date version of this, and it looks insanely real. So if you guys enjoyed seeing this, and you're fans of, like, Backrooms-type games, let me know, because I can I can play that as well. Dining hall. Oh wow. See for me, like level design wise, these sort of little gaps that don't quite make sense and stuff, like all these things that throw you off and let you let you kind of know that something isn't right. Like this wouldn't happen, this wouldn't be built like that in the real world. That's what, like, that's, that's what gets you. Okay, I guess we go this way. Oh, that ruffled 
sound in the carpet. It just sounds like the audio from... What's that? Oh wow, this is getting real. Found another exit. Oh, I hate that door closing. I'm just waiting for someone to go there. Ah! What is that? Jesus. No, 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 let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Wait, it closed. I don't think I was supposed to get out there. I froze because of the knocking. I swear to God, if anything attacks me, and this game's lied to me... Jesus. See how the wall doesn't quite line up and everything? Like, it's weird. I don't like that elevator door closing. First time I played a backrooms game. That oh my! That features a neighborhood. Oh, this is eerie as hell. Stranger Things vibes. Let's see that a bit. Christ. See, the part that didn't make sense to me about other Backrooms games, like the entities and stuff like that, like who made them and why are they there? Maybe that's been answered and I need to like play them or like Oh shit. Am I 
the snow. There's the elevator. Anything else in here? What's that noise? Dude, I gotta get out of here now. Like, right now. Yeah, you kind of like fall into like a rift or something, don't you? Wow. That was, uh, that was really entertaining. It's just different. Like, it's different from all the other ones that we've played like we weren't being necessarily chased but we felt like we were being watched and there is a longer more up-to-date version that's just been released uh called uh complex and and uh, we can definitely like look into that if you guys enjoyed watching this one if you're a fan of backroom games guys let me know what you think like love crest my channel and i will see you in the next one stay dazzling <laughs>